behalf of the Whitpin Township Board of Supervisors and the 20, 000, almost 20,000 residents of Whitpin Township and uh, easily twice that number who work or learn in Whitpin Township. I'm, uh, I'm pleased to welcome you here uh, on behalf of my Board of Supervisors. I just wanted to say, this is almost overwhelming. As Fred has mentioned, trust me, this has been 10 long years. Um, currently at our other sites, we serve over 3,000 kids. We will serve as many as we can out of this site, but initially starting out, I have 60 kids that the school district has identified, and we will begin working with them toward their future. And what I can share with you is that's gonna strongly be rooted in education. This building is going to love you. We are beyond excited to be in this community. This is where we wanted to be. There was never any question about that for us. I do need to say that with Payne Township, the elected officials, the staff there, Roman, Public Works, they have been incredible partners in, in bringing this thing to life. We are standing here in the shadows of one of the last asbestos factories in this community. And in a few minutes here, we're going to cut the ribbon on a, on a new kind of factory, one that builds great futures. This factory, if you will, this new factory builds human capital. It builds the great futures for these young people, for all of our young people because there's something that's known as the achievement gap that happens in our, in our schools, all of our schools, good, bad, and indifferent schools. What this facility is going to do, and is gonna do very quickly starting Monday, is gonna help start closing that achievement gap. Because when you close the achievement gap, you close the opportunity gap. And this new factory that's gonna build new futures is gonna help all of us achieve that goal for this community. This community can afford it and we can make it happen. And with our partners, our community partners, the neighbors, and most of all, you young people, you guys are gonna make that happen. So with that, enough talking, let's cut the ribbon and then get some, uh, get some ice cream.